now we are going to teach you the other option which is most important options sometimes we get some black and white pictures or photos and it's necessary we have to convert it into color photo so how to do that we are going to learn now we are going to open an new image a black and white picture where that picture is in grayscale mode now we are going to convert that one into rgb color mode now it has converted into rgb mode maximize the photo now just control plus for zoom in and we can see some spots over the image we can rectify that spots using the clone tool which is already we know now once again pressing the third bracket closing third bracket and to adjust the brush press alter nearby good surface and continuously click over the white spot taking the good portion and clicking over the white portion and we can see the white spots already going off all the time it's very necessary that you have to see the first one where your spots is there and nearby any clear surface is there or not if it's there you have to take the clear surface area and clone over the white area or any spot area now we are going to remove the white spot over the black spot black shade now if you are not able to see properly you can zoom in also now take the nearest one and continuously press click over the white portion now we can see the all the white spots already gone off now a bit of white spots is remaining for the reason we are going to adjust our brush and selecting the nearest area if it is sending mistake control z is for the undo it's a very careful work almost is over now we are going to fit the image over the window selecting the move tool going to the sharpen option and sharp mask to sharp the photo we already know if t-shirt list 29 we can see the difference we can see the quality of the picture the adjustment is depends upon you how you are going to adjust the pictures now press okay 
now once again zoom in now selecting the mercu not a, it's a lesser tool where the feather is zero now start clicking from the starting point and make one selection first make a selection over the face as well as neck ear if hand is visible then hand actually we are going to first make colorful the skin color now the selection is over now we can adjust before that we will give the feather option feather value is 6 because it it have to look very naturalistic then once again go to the feather option give more value then we can get a better quality go to the adjustment go to the color balance we can see four option the red cyan magenta blue yellow and green to make the screen color our screen color we have to increase the red one 46 yellow 59 red should be a little bit more 83 and magenta a bit 5 we have to adjust that option now it's a colorful now we already seen how to transfer the black and white to color now we are going to save that selection giving the different name now we are going to make it the colorful of eyebrow because it's also looking a little bit reddish because we already selected the whole face and that's why it has it also transfer into same color now we are just make one selection and holding the shift key we are additionally selecting the another eyebrow now the selection is over now we are going to select the eyes which is also looking a little bit odd for the reason select the fade option give the value 5 the selection is not proper that's why you have to adjust once again now it's okay put the image adjustment 
go to the color valence you have to make it a little bit dark color I mean black color after it's okay we can see the difference now it's looking very realistic and natural in the digital photo editing it's the most important you have to look over each and every portion of the photo it should not be look odd once again going to the adjustment area giving a value for lip okay now we can see the difference and we already got the idea that the leaf eye color and skin color already converted into colorful it's a color now like that way we can change the coat color also within that selection selection area whatever you are going to colorful that portion only going to color so it's uh, important and concentration is also most important for the selection now the selection is over now going to the feather option once again giving the value 8 press ok going to the adjustment color valence we can choose the color according to our wish we can give the we can make it our adjust full or our choiceable coat color okay now we already seen how to the black and white photo has transferred into color photo now if you want to change the shirt color also we can do it each and every minor or major portion if you wanted to make colorful you can the process is same once again going to the select go to the feather option give the value less because selection is very small go to the adjustment go to the color valence and make it a bit colorful we can see the change now there is a portion called highlight area sometimes highlighted area is not going to uh, more colorful okay now we can see the difference the shirt color already changed now we are going to change the tie color once again 
once again going to the feather option going to the color wellings we can make it we can make a little bit more reddish and now press ok now control D for the selection is up here now we can see the here position and we can adjust that one also a little bit more blackish or we can change the here color also like uh, it's a gray or creamish or reddish once again going to the select feather option keep the value go to the adjustment color balance see the whole image has converted into colorful picture and it looks too much realistic and too much fine and good this is the process actually to convert the color colorful picture and we can save that photo in PSD mode or we can save as a JPG mode now we are going to close that particular file